Welcome, welcome, welcome to Amber Skies. A bit cut off there on the music today. Wow, what happened there? My name's Blades, and this is the future of 3D networking. And uh, yeah, I seem to be getting dragged into more and more games programming right now, so I'm not really bothered. I doesn't mind. I don't mind. Putting games together is part of it all, I suppose. So online games, that is. And uh, we need an ECS system, and I need a standalone ECS system. Hmm. That's a little bit unfortunate. Right, let's get my screen sorted out. A little bit late getting started today. Uh, I want that one, and I want that one. Don't really need anything else. Okay. What's this? Ah, chat. We'll need chat. We'll have chat. There we go. Lovely. <laughs> um, we'll need something to um, type into. Um, let's start a computer up. And see what we get. Yeah, so um, uh, the last stream was okay. It went good. The uh, coding was good. Uh, it's all checked out. Spent my day off yesterday checking it all out. Oh, I made a mistake there. Thought I had. There we go. That window looks about right. Oh, this looks like Linux. Oh, good. Yes, we've got Linux. Oh, password. Okay. We'll have one of them as well. Uh, so what happened there? All right. Okay. We'll save that out because that's not my window that I want. Um, let's try that. See what happens. Ooh, KDE. One of my favourite. I like Plasma. The Linux Plasma KDE mode is rather nice. Even I have to say. Alright, we're a bit over to the left today, are we? We are. Okay, I just want to move a couple of things. Let's chat. Let's just move it over to about here. That should do it. Yeah. Okay. Let's move our window. There we go. Looking good. Uh, C++ please. Excellent. We're going to be using this. So let's code this up. Code. Uh, dot. Let's get it up on screen. Development. Mm. Oh, magic. Yeah, we've got everything here. And we're looking at ECS. Inside version is available. Would you like to switch to the inside channel and inst uh, don't show again? I don't want insides, God knows what. I've enough problems with this program without having to use unstable versions of it. Uh, yeah. Our component was okay. I made a spelling mistake here. Uh, ECS was in lowercase. So that was probably the main cause of the problems I had. So that's done. Um. Yeah, there's another one here. Let's pop this over. Uh, component was spelt wrong. It was a bit naffed up. So that didn't help either. Because it meant that the component free function was a bit messed up. And that's why it wasn't working. 
Control B to build. Crossing my fingers. Fantastic. Everything works. Uh, that's okay then. Open here. Launch. What do we get? Except for a load of rubbish at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in and out, didn't I do? Yeah, I did in and out as well. Yeah, okay. Alright, so everything's working. Uh, we Even with the new stuff, as it were. And yeah, we're getting a bit rubbishy on the frames per second, but never mind. Get rid of that one. Lovely. So everything's going good. Uh, do I need anything? No. No, not really. Right, so where are we up to? We are on my notes somewhere. Where is it? Here we go. Right, so we've now got a dynamically created components. And these we can now create at runtime. Yes, very complicated stuff, all templated. It's going to take a little bit of nasty coding to get everything working um, to make it easier for us and abstract away from all of this type and templating. But we can do it. We can do it. I'm, I'm sure of it. What we're going to need next is the system. We've got the components. Let's get a system up and, well, started anyway. So under ECS, we'll have a new file. And we'll call this one ECS system. Dot HPP. Lovely. Okay, let's have a look at this the top of this one. We'll take this as this week's stuff. This is going to go over into next week. It's definitely complicated stuff, so unfortunately we're going to have to go through it bit by bit and quite slowly really, because um, I can't afford to get anything wrong. My boss will kill me if I do that. Uh, this is standalone uh, production programming that you're seeing now. Um, this is what I've got to do. Uh, for the boss. Luckily, the person that invented this program, uh, I have a lot of respect for. I do have to change bits and pieces, but hey ho. Change it to fit. Uh, modern day. Oh, the only other thing that I changed was in CPP properties. I've now told it to use uh, C standard. 2011 and CPP standard 2017 and change IntelliSense mode over to GCC because that's what I'm using. That might help us a little bit with uh, this IntelliSense. I'm hoping it does. Oh well, we'll see. So let's try and include something and see if it'll start making a difference. I want ECS. There it is. Oh, it's working. Component. Oh, that was better. That was a lot better. Can we include our data structure as well? Now, I'm going to have to show you what the data structures do, don't I? Because, oh, I think you know what the array one does. I showed you last time. It's just std colon colon vector, uh, but as one word. Uh, HPP, yeah. Okay. And now it doesn't like me. Hmm. Alright. Why doesn't it like me when I do things? It's there, array.hpp. Go away. Right. So let's start setting this ECS system up, shall we? 
uh, it's going to be class. I'm going to need a class, so let's have a class. Um, we're going to call it base. You know what where this is leading to, ECS system. Um, yeah, that'll do. And we're going to take this step by step, I think. So public. In our ECS system, we are going to need a an array, um, which is standard colon colon vector if you want to put it into C++ but I can just put array because I've included it and it should work and it should be a uint32 have we got common in? alright hash include uh, actually Yeah, that should come after. <laughs> Hash include uh, call slash common. We'll need that for the uints. Um, just call it component types. There we go, that'll do. So I'll have that as a private member. Uh, called component types. It's just uh, a vector of u int 32s in C++ terms. Um, public. Hmm. We shall have our base ECS system. Yeah. ECS a component it gives me. No, I want system. Oh, it's coming up now, is it? Weird. And it's obviously going to take in our component types, which will be a const array. uint 32 address and component type do we pluralize this yeah types we'll just call it in incoming in there we go that'll do uh, yeah I may as well do it here so that would be com component types component types in that's roughly all we're going to need for a constructor don't need anything else there that'll do me alright that's our constructor done uh, this is going to be a virtual isn't it yeah it's going to be Another one of those inherited base kind of things. Don't worry about that. Hmm. I worry about it because I think I've made a mistake already. Hmm. Interesting. Just looking at my notes. Never mind. Void. Virtual void. And it's going to be our base system will need an update components that's what it's here for and we'll take in a float uh, delta time and we'll take in the base ECS component as well And we'll need two of those stars there because it's a point of pointers. Components. Uh, components. Yeah, I've got a spelling mistake here somewhere. 
It's virtual void, so we'll just make it that. And I've got a spelling mistake in here somewhere. But there we go. Yeah, that'll do nicely. What else are we going to need? Um, that's our virtual stuff. It doesn't do much this class at all. Uh, array. So const array uint32 and because we want the address and this is going to be get component types and all that's going to do is return component types. <laughs> I got a, uh, that should all fit together nicely, like that. I think that should do it. If we can get the includes to work, I'll be, we'll be fine. Do I have to do that and that? All oh, right, yeah, we're okay. Includes are working. Wow, we have an ECS system. Oh, that was uh, a bit stressful, considering how hard it was to get the last lot to work properly and play nicely. So what is our ECS system going to do? It's going to update components. That's what it's going to do. We are going to hold uh, an, aris uh, an array or a vector. I'll show you what I mean. Now it's come up. So peak definition. All that is is std vector as a hash define. So if you want a hash define array to mean that, feel free. If you don't, don't worry about it. Uh, so that's that done. Uint32 is in common. I've put a constructor in here, haven't I? So in common, I've got a few things, including the platform, a um, few type defs, de type defs for signed and unsigned uints, all the different uints. Um, and what are these? These are the other ones, aren't they? Yeah. So that's all my type defs, debug. Um, Force in line, yeah, that's okay. I want that in private, don't I? So I'll have you. <laughs> I haven't used you yet. Logging, yes, we've got debug log. Come back to that actually. Uh, yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> Private. I'll just put me macro in, and that's base ECS. All this does is a copy constructor and an assign constructor, and it just creates one automatically using a template. So if you don't include it, it doesn't matter. It's optional. I just like to include it because it it helps me with this part here. Do I need it? So it's in threes. Yeah. No, I don't need it. Ah, forget that. Don't need it. Disagree with myself. There we go. That's fine. So that's our ECS system. Um, yeah. What can we do with that? Currently, not a lot. Because our component system um, isn't going to play nicely with that as it stands. We're going to have to introduce... Um, 
that array into our ECS component HPP. All right, that's going to be awkward. All right, let's see how that works. So, oh God. Uh, let's try T U P L E. Yeah, we'll have that. All right. Oh, it agrees with me this time. It knows what I'm talking about. That's good news. Um. Yeah, our base ECS component. Hmm. Components, components in. Types. Types in. Hook it up. Right, okay, yeah, it's going to be a tuple. Oh my god. Okay, here it goes. Um, we'll rename it. It's no longer going to be next ID. Um, this is going to be register uh, component type. That will then fit in with the system. And that I'm going to press return because we're going to lead, need a ton of stuff in here. We're going to need the ECS uh, component create function. If I can get it to work. Here we are, that one. Um, we'll take that in um, as just create function. Comma. Uh, we'll need the free function. So this is so the system can manage it all. So let's have that free function there. And we'll call that free function. And we'll also need its size. Size. Why is size T gone weird again? That's underscore T. T. Thank you. All right, do it that way. I don't care. Uh, yeah. We'll do it that way. All right. That's what our base component needs to do. It needs to register the component type. So we have to put the ID in there somehow. Uh, we are going to need to add... This could be changed into a class now. Or should be. It's going to need private members. Stuff it. I'll leave it as a struct. Uh, but I'm private. We'll leave it as a struct and just put private down here instead. Um, oh god, this is going to be awful. We're going to have to create a tuple for those that all that information. So that's a static array. Sorry, I'm just thinking through it. 
open angle brackets, uh, std colon colon tuple, open angle brackets. I'm going to hit return because now we need those three things, don't we? So now we need the three things. So that's E, C, S, create function, comma, E, C, S, free function, comma, and size, underscore T. Close angle bracket, close angle bracket. And then we're going to just call it component types. Hmm. All right. Yeah, that'll work. Will that put a semicolon at the end? It will. Is that right? Do a quick build. All right, next index. Yeah, we've just knocked out next index on the CPP file, haven't we? Good. Right, so we'll need to change that. Okay. So that's going to become this. Here. So let's get our CPP file up. And hit a V and take the semicolon off the end. Um, for this to work, that's no good. Um, so we're going to need it to be replaced by... this array yep that'll do don't want the static just want the array that can go there that's good uh, return component ID plus plus is not really gonna work is it okay Right, how's this going to work? Right. What we're going to do then is we are going to have a uint thirty two component ID. And now we're going to make that equal to component types uh, dot size. Oh, it's starting to work now. Yay. We're starting to get IntelliSense. Fantastic. All right, what else are we going to need to do? <laughs> We're going to need to do something with um, that tuple, that tuple. So it's a pushback, isn't it? Into the array. Uh, so it's going to be component types. And it's going to be dot push back, open brackets, I'll put a semicolon at the end and uh, just hit return. And it's going to be that lot. Have I got too many brackets now? One second, let me just uh, look at my brackets. I've got one, two, one, two. 
Okay. And all I want now is the tu yeah, the tuple by itself. So miss a bracket, miss a bracket. So it's just inside the brackets copy. Paste. Tab across, that's our tuple. And we'll open another bracket here. Hit return. And now we've got to put in a create fn, comma, free fn. You've never seen anything like this, I bet. Um, yep, that's right. And size. And that should work. What, why, why won't it let me out of here? Get out. Thank you. <sighs> oh, it does recognise it. Just wondered why it's in blue there and it's not here. I don't like this size either. Oh no, it's, it's registering it okay, so that's fine. Yeah. That's good news. Okay, so that's the tuple pushed back into the common, sorry, component types. That's what this does, it just registers the component type, so it pushes them back. Yes, that works for me. And it returns the ID as the size. Yeah, okay, I think I can live with that. And now we can do the rest of our ECS, base ECS component. Yeah, we can. Now we should be able to build. Base, uh, where's this? HPP 76. You're right. You can't have next ID there. Alright. Um, you're going to have to have whatever we put. Register component type. Is going to go into our definitions. And guess what? Hmm. It's going to be ECS. It's going to be component create. And that's a T, isn't it? Does that look right? Yeah, comma, ECS, component 3, T, so it's a template, comma, and then it's going to be a size of T. That's the last part. Does that now work? Control Save, Control B. CPP twenty nine undefined reference to base ECS component component types on CPP twenty nine. Ah, 
ACS component. 31. Do I not have component types here? How can it be undefined? I spelt it wrong. No, it says it's got it. Undefined reference to base ECS component component types. Okay. Uh, I spelled something wrong. It looks right to me. And it's allowed to access it, so why can't it? Put that in line. Just static. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. It's just that one error, is it? Uh, <sighs> try a build again. No, it's not like in line 29. CPP 29. Types dot size. <laughs> I, don't, I can't see it again. This is typical of me. I can't see the errors. And it's not coming up on the right hand side as an error. So something's lying to me. It means the error is somewhere else. It's not coming up with any. Alright, I'll carry on and see what happens. <laughs> Alright, where were we? Uh, we need to now do the getters if for base ECS component, don't we? So that's going to be in here. Let's do the getters. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> right, so where are we going to put the getters? The getters go here. Um, we'll pop them here. It doesn't really matter. Struct, yeah, public. So, inline statics. And we'll need E, C, S. <laughs> yeah, component create function, that one. And we're going to call it get type create function. And all we need for that is a uint32. Uh, we'll call it id. Uh, inline, we'll do it here. So all we're going to do is return standard get, 
GET, yeah, we've got it, good. And we'll take zero, close the angle brackets, open the big brackets, and it's just component. Component types, ID. That's correct. So that's how you get the first part of a tuple. So we've created a tuple which has the component create function in it. So to get that create function, we can now access it using the ID of our base component. Pretty nice. That's going to help us immensely. Uh, we're going to need the next one, inline static. And this one's going to be the ECS free function. And we're going to say get type free function. And again, I think it, we're just going to use the uint type uh, 32 for the ID. No harm in that. And this is just going to work the same. So it's, you'll probably be able to write it yourself now, obviously. Uh, get angle brackets 1. We want the next one in the tuple. And then we just open it and we use component types. And it's ID. There we go. Makes that very easy. Why has that changed blue and that one hasn't? Because I've only got that one there. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so that's worrying me. Yeah, there's something wrong here. Those should be in blue. I'm sure of it. Hmm. Never mind. Carry on, I'll fix it, don't worry. It just takes a, a, a little bit of searching to fix things in this for some reason. Can't understand why. I mean, it's simple enough, isn't it? Grief. This has got to be the most complex thing I've ever written. So I'm going to do an inline static. This is the last getter for our tuple. And for this one, we just need size t, don't we? So it's size t. We can call it to get type size. I mean, if you saw Mondays, it was an absolute nightmare. Um, today's is a lot easier because we've got Mondays stuff out of the way. All, all the tricky templating stuff we've done. Now we're just doing the getters. <laughs> the easy bits. Uh, component. That should come up. No, it shouldn't. Type size. Alright, okay. Yeah, ty get type size. Open brackets. Uh, uint 32. I was looking for more complicated things to happen there, and it didn't. Right, that's okay. Uh, return. And it's std colon colon get and number 2 in angle brackets and it's component types. And it's just an ID. Lovely, that works out beautifully. If it'll accept it. No, it will. Yeah, <laughs> that's working all right. So that's our base ECS component nearly finished, I think. It's got the getters, it's got the setters. Register the component and get parts of each component. Okay. And we've got a static array holding those component types. 
I wonder if that's supposed to be on the same line. Or have I messed up the angle brackets? Hardest thing to see in the world. Do these angle brackets highlight or not? No, they don't. No. They don't really highlight at all. That's a damn shame. One, two. One, two. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, you can write it like that. If that makes it any easier. <laughs> I haven't messed it up. Here, have I? I've got one, two, one, two, yeah. One, one. And it's a pushback. Hmm. Yeah, standard vector, and that's a type def, yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure about this file. <laughs> That's okay. Component types, component types, any that aren't coming up. Create FN, free FN, size. Okay, you're coming up. You're supposed to be working. Alright. Let's see what else we need then. We now have to get this working. Okay. B. Alright. Darn it. I wish it wouldn't do that. What's it just done? Hmm. Let's pop you back. How can I have a terminal? Thank you. <laughs> um. And all I want to do is press B there. Right, let's read it through now. Go from the bottom. Undefined reference to base ECS component. Right. On 30. And on 28, undefined reference to base ECS component, component types. Okay. Let's start at the bottom. According to this, it's got a type, and it says it's undefined. Hmm. Has anybody seen my spelling mistake? Because one of this is then one of these must be a spelling mistake. It says on 30 and 28. Semicolon. Semicolon. So 28 and 30 are those two. It's complaining about component types, this one. Which should be this one. I 
can't see a difference. Oh god, have I missed an include? Have I missed an include? I've got common, array, tuple, anything else I've used? Should work, I can't see why it shouldn't work. Static unit 32, yeah. That's its return value. Hmm. This should compile. Yeah, that comes back through there. Uh. Okay. <laughs> nope, I can't see the problem. That's typical. That is absolutely typical. Close them all off. <laughs> ACS component. CPP I don't have to do any extra includes in there, there shouldn't be any Doesn't seem to be going through with the uh Include here. And I'm not getting squiggly red lines anywhere. And so that, this really, really, really is puzzling. <laughs> it's right. HPP Have I done this wrong? Have I put it in the wrong place? Thank <laughs> you. 
there's always a possibility I might have messed up where to put it. Because it's try probably trying to access it before it's even, yeah. Even begun, yeah. Thirteen twenty-eight. Hmm. Does that mean that's as far as I can go? Because I'm going to have to find it. Right. Okay. Start with ECS system. Right, we make the class base ECS system. Yeah. All right. Array you in thirty two component types. That's just straight array. Base ECS system. Should really click on it, shouldn't I? As I'm checking. <laughs> we take the address of the array component types in. That's correct. We then assign it to component types here. That's correct. So components types now exist. It's a thing. It's coming through this way, isn't it? It's not going out. So, okay, this is where it all ends up. Uh, so, virtual void, update components, float delta time, get our base ECS component, array list thingy, and that's just components. Yeah. Now we can do our get component types. Address, yeah, and just return component types. Hmm. I mean, that's just a raw system. That's got to be modified yet. In here, we have to include the tuple, which we've done, and then we had to change next ID. I don't just done something stupid. Hold on a minute. Base ECS component. Colon colon. No, I haven't. Okay. <laughs> Struct base ECS component. So we we started here with register component type and changing that over to take an ECS component create function and an e ECS component free function <gasps> and a size T, which is coming up quite weirdly. Okay. I mean, I could just write that as one line. It'll look awful. And then we added our static array of three things, which is create, free, and size. And we'll call it component types. I wonder if the spacing is messing it up. Can't be. This is C++. Spaces don't matter. Hmm. Okay, I'm alright there. I wonder if that private should be public. It shouldn't be. Otherwise. 
Yeah, because we've got the getters and setters to it now, haven't we? Okay. So we did all of that, yeah. And we added each of these in. So all we've changed except for this part here. Brackets, next bracket, size of team brackets, yep. Yep, that's okay. Twos, yeah, that's okay. O one and two. Size T function function correct. Function function correct. All I've done is I've added this. Okay, um, yeah, I know what to do. Okay, let's go through it, I suppose, either way, because I can't see, obviously. Uh, what's causing the problem? Is it you? Oh, that's the wrong system, isn't it? It's in here. Edit then. Ah, toggle line comment. There we go on edit. That'll do. Alright, now try building. Gives me one error on 28. Okay. So it's still giving me an error on that. Right. Build. Return com ah right okay. Yeah okay. Well, that's true. Go to that screen for a minute. Um. You went thirty two component ID equals zero for a second. Let's get things sorted out. Right, get me a clean build. Thank you. Right, we've got a clean build. Let's take that away then. Oh, just collapse this a second. There we go, I can see it now. Component types, yeah. So 
a lovely it's a lovely line that one isn't it let's get everything to match Here we go, that all matches. You can see why I didn't really want to write it that way now, can't you? Uh, okay, save, build. Alrighty, okay so far. If I undo this lot, what we're getting. Undefined. Undefined reference. Okay. Nope. Nothing to do with that. Hmm. Oh well. <laughs> I seem to have uh, an undefined reference then. Uh, I will have to remove that code and complete it later. That's a nuisance. I'll have to come back to that and rethink it by the looks of that. I've got something slightly wrong. I can't see it whilst trying to um, do a video, so... Right, so that will build. That's all I need it to do. Okay, right, we're building. So, that's okay. And after that bit of a nightmare, I need a quick break. What we got here? So that I can do some more coding, because this is not easy to do. <laughs> um, I'm going to take a quick 10 minute break, be right back, and we'll get some more code done, I think. So, have I got music anywhere? Have I not? Hold on a minute, why have I not got music anywhere? Um, I've got music in here. Yeah, this will do it. Right, just give us 10 minutes.
And we're back. Yes. Oh, we are back. So let's get some more code done. And we'll just ignore those errors, and I'll do those on Friday. <coughs> it's as simple as that. We've got to get through all of this, otherwise uh, we're never going to get through it. Do we need to do much more? Uh, at this point. Hmm. Yes, we do. We have to start up our ECS system. Um... Right, okay. I've done the getters. Alright. And I've resolved the errors by deleting them. That's clever, isn't it? It's not a very good result, but hey ho. It's as good as I can get on stream under pressure like this, so it's going to have to do for now. I'll give you the results on uh, Friday and on that bit. So, new file. We are going to have ECS dot HPP. Uh, yeah, I think we'll just stick to one file for now. <laughs> <laughs> As this gets a bit out of hand otherwise by the looks of it. So let's start with you. All right, let's include everything that I can think of, so it'll work. Uh, core, I'll take common. Um, data structures, yes, we're going to take everything that I can uh, <laughs> include. Data structures, and that's going to be... Everything but string, so array. I don't know, I can't remember what I did for map. Let's have map as well. Let's just have a look at that one. Uh, well, it's just STD map, so yeah. If I type map in, it just means STD map. There you go, another nice. Just, just shorthand. Uh, create, create your own language. Time. Uh, so we've got the data structures, and we're also going to have to include all of the stuff we've done so far, which is ECS component. That one. And hash include ECS system. Thank you. <coughs> right. Let's do a class. Guess what it's called? ECS. That'll do. That's a nice class. It's going to get large. Probably a bit large, but this is where we have to start bringing everything together, unfortunately. Mm, it wasn't that. Okay. I'll keep thinking about it in the background of my head. Right. This is where it all goes completely wacky. Because now what we've done is we've developed a system uh, with components of templates. Uh, we've got a raw ECS system uh, which can update those components. I mean, I can register them properly, that is. And that's going to help, obviously. Hmm. And this next bit goes completely um, out of the window. So I'm going to make an array of base ECS 
system. Spelt it right, yeah. I'm uh, going to have a point R. And angle brackets, and just call it systems. Nothing special there. Uh, I'm going to then have a map. Of uh, uint 32s. <coughs> What's that uint 32 going to be? That uint 32 is going to be our ID um, for our components, our component ID. Then we're going to have in this map an array. Yeah, <laughs> this gets better. Array of uint 8s. Uh, do we need to reference that or not? No. That'll do. So two angle brackets to get out, and the array is for storing our components. So that's our component ID and our components storage space. Uh, that's in components, isn't it? So. Uh, yeah. That'll do nicely there. Uh, last one is ridiculous, as usual, because <laughs> it always is. Uh, standard pair. So we're going to have an array of a standard pair, starting with the uint32, and an array Another open angle brackets of a standard pair. I'm glad I wrote this down. <coughs> yeah, standard pair open angle brackets. That's one, two, three, four o open bra open angle brackets we've got so far. <coughs> and this pair is going to be our entities. Uh, and they can be held with a couple of U in thirty twos, I guess. Don't need to do anything special in here. Uh, yeah, that'll do nicely. And then it's going to be three closes. Uh, we want to reference them by pointers. And then close the fourth. And we'll call those entities. Bet you were wondering where our entities were. They're here. Why are they here? Best place for them, really. Uh, ECS is con going to control all of the memory. Uh, all of the components, so it may as well have the entities here as well. So it's got everything. Why not? It's got all the systems, the components, and the entities. So we've got now E, C, and S all together in reverse order. Hmm, interesting. So that's the index and the array of the ID and index to the components array. Yeah, that creates an entity because an entity is just a list of components great uh, class so I'm going to have a public section which I'm going to leave a well alone for a minute and then I'm going to have a private section uh, which I'll probably do first alright so here we go we can do these in line. For some reason, my uh, microphone's moved. In line. Uh, yeah. What are we going to do for our first in line? We need to do a handle to the raw type. Otherwise, we can't do anything. So that's going to be standard pair. So it's going to be a, a standard pair all the way up to the asterisk, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll just miss out the array bit. Copy. That'll do it. That's our type. Our return type. Uh, handle to a raw type.
Oh, as a raw entity, the raw type uh, or type that the entity is. Yeah. And all we're going to use for it is entity handle. And handle. And I'm going to have to click this off again, aren't I? There we go. Handle. There we are. We'll have that as our inline. And how we're going to define that? Just as a return. Just straight return. And it's going to be a cast. A static cast of that lot. That's all it's going to return is a static cast. That goes in there. Let's do the static cast and we want to cast the handle to that type. That's how it's done. That's how we find out what um, type is in our entity. Which is going to be very, very useful in about the next ooh, few seconds. Give ourselves some space to work as we do an inline. Uh, Uint thirty two, and this is going to be the handle. Yeah, we'll use handle to uh, entity index, so we can index them. Again, entity handle, a handle, and all we need to do now is return the handle to raw type, handle to raw type, handle, and it's going to be, is it dot, no, is it arrow, yeah, first. There we go. So that will give us the entities index, which is that uint32 there. So what else do we need to know? We also need to know that lot there, which is the handle to the entity. So we can what we're doing here is we're splitting it into two halves. We're splitting it back out. As that will be useful very in, well, when we come to write the final system stages, I suppose. Uh, so this is the array of... This is the last bit, isn't it? So this is this array part here. <laughs> so I can put that here. And... How many brackets have I got? Two. So I'll need a second one there. And we'll give the address. And we'll call this handle to entity. Because this is the actual entity, which is a list of components. You int array eight. You int array eight. Hmm. Okay, it'll work. And all we want to do here is entity handle again. Because that's all we're going to know. We're going to be using a handling handle system. Uh, here we need to return. And it's a handle to raw entity type to raw to raw type, yeah. We use a handle. Excellent. Handle to raw type. And it's second. There we go. And that works. As you can see, all the little red squigglies go away. Fantastic. Will that build? Well, yes, but I'd need to clean first, wouldn't I? Uh -huh. Never mind. 
Uh, it's a header file, it doesn't build. Never mind. So, everything's doing okay at this point in time. Now, we come to public. Let's outline our public stuff. So, this is not going to compile after this, I don't think, because we're just going to be uh, titling out whatever we want. Uh, so we'll have an ECS. Um, that's not going to do anything. Uh, we're going to have a title ECS, which is going to do loads. <laughs> as you can see. By this lot here. We're going to have to uh, delete them somehow. So that's a semicolon. We need that one. I'll put NTT stuff here. I'll do component stuff here and I'll do a system stuff here. So what we got? Let's try the entity. Um, first thing we're going to need is an entity handle. And all we're going to do now is make an entity. And that's that will give us our entity handle, which we use for everything else, obviously. So making an entity will require a, a base ECS component star. Uh, call that components. Should really not do this because I've got component components. This is getting confusing. Yep, it's fine though, I think. I'll check it over as I do those errors. Const uint32 star. We'll have a pointer to component IDs. Yeah, we better have that plural. Yeah, and a size underscore t and num components. Hmm. Okay. Bit worried about this size t define. Okay. That's what I want it to be, so fine. We're going to have to have a CPP file for that. Uh, void. Remove entity. <laughs> yeah. So we can remove entities. Why would we want to remove an entity? Um, well, if you fire a gun and you create a bullet with physics, and that bullet travels from your gun, it is an entity. Once that entity has been finished with, we would like to remove it. We don't really want uh, the endless bullet situation. I have a feeling we'd run out of memory. Uh, remove entity, that's a good idea. So we'll have an entity handle handle. So that'll do that, that's all we need. We only need to make them and remove them for entities. Yeah, that's okay. Components are templates. A class component, we'll call them, we'll make a component. Uh, it's going to be a void. What should we do first? Add component. Yeah, okay. Where we'll need the entity handle. 
for the handle. And we're also going to need a component. Star pointer. And call it component. Why not? Uh, yeah, we better do that. That's going to be a bit awkward. We're going to have to make um, helper functions to get it outside of the template class. Otherwise, it's going to eat up a load of memory with duplication of code within the templating. Hmm. Excellent. That's going to be fun. Uh, so we'll do that. Uh, component. Why is all the colorations going weird? The highlighting syntax in this is awful. What have I got on here? I've got loads and loads of rubbish. That's what I've got. Keeping that one. Mm -hmm. Right, I've just unloaded you lot, so hopefully for the uh, syntaxing might start to get a bit better. Uh, we've just done add component, haven't we? So the next one is going to be void. Uh, remove component. And that can be just entity handle. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, that's okay. Template class component. nicely there. I've spelled component right, haven't I? It's the spelling in this. I'm dyslexic, so I do apologise for this. I know that it's spelling that causes the errors. So I'm a very lucky person, really. I know that it's just if I do a spell check on everything, it usually comes up with me errors. Uh, get component. Um, and that's just going to take entity handle. This is how it all works out very nicely in the end, so this makes everything start to look a bit better. We're now starting to get methods which are easier to use. So we've now got like a make entity, we can add the components, uh, we can get the components, delete the, com well, remove components. Um, and under the system, uh, we can have void. We'll add system, of course. Uh, add system will take a base. ECS. System. Um, address. We'll just call it system. Um, it's not going to do much of that, is it? It's just going to take systems, um, push back, and the address of system. Just wondering whether to make that in line or not. No, don't. Should do. Really? I'm leaving it in the header file. Hmm. I'll worry about that after. Uh, update system. And that 
just going to take a float delta time, isn't it? Well, this should make sense. This is the actual main class of the ECS, so yeah, this has to do all of this stuff. It's a pretty large class, really. Uh, remove system. That's just going to be the base ECS system. And with the address, system. That's a bit more complicated, so that'll do that. Anything else I can come up with now? Oh. Yeah, common's got that null thingy hasn't it so yeah we can use that on here it's to put it as private so it's null copy and assign e c s that'll do that saves me having to write a copy constructor and an assign constructor wow and build doesn't matter now because it's in header file can't check it yet uh, so really, that brings us down to a new file, ecs.cpp. There we go, I'll just set that up. And it's hash include, um, I bet it's ECS. It is, yeah. All right, I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so at least it's going to highlight. Right, so all I've got to do now is get rid of those errors. I think that's going to be roughly about it, and then on Friday we can write this lot, but with all the helper functions which are going to go under the private section here. Um, yeah, well, actually, the private section here. Hmm. This is going to be a doozy. Each one of these template classes now has to have its implementation removed from the template class uh, to stop duplication of code. So each of these are just going to be um, that, to be honest with you. They're not going to be in the CPP because I can't really put any code in them. If I do, it'll just bloat infinitely. It'll just make the code completely nuts. So those I'm going to do in there. Mm. I haven't got the functions to call. So I'll leave those till next time until those functions have been written. In fact, I might just write those functions first and get that out of the way with and then do the CPP file. So that we can get this lot out of the way with. We'll see, we'll see. That's working alright, that's working alright. The only thing that isn't working alright now is this. I've made a mess of something in here. So I'm going to rewrite all of this and find out where the error is. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's how I get, that's how I find my errors. By doing rewrites. 
So I'll rewrite two new files, which will be, well, I'll re rewrite this file and try and build it. And then if that doesn't work, what I'm going to do is rewrite uh, the HPP file, which is horrible, as you can tell. All the bits that I put in today, I'm going to rewrite them and try and compile again. And it should work. I th my notes say that we ain't got a problem. Um, so I think we're going to be all right. But yeah, that needs to be fixed. That takes us on to Friday. So that will be uh, the errata. And then on to, well, doing more of the this stuff. But I don't even know if we can get that done in one day now. And this is going to take uh, quite a bit of doing. Right, tomorrow. Oh, said to 12. Oh, hi, us, mate. Um, that's got no timer on it. That's why I'm missing people, is it? Darn it. Why has my timer stopped working? Hmm. Darn it. Chat settings. Because it flashes at me normally. Show timestamp. It's been switched off. Right, okay. I wonder who did that. It wasn't me. Sorry about that, uh, Setu12. I missed your um, chat completely. How weird. Never mind. Sorry. Um, so tomorrow, uh, it's I've got a free day, really. Um, I mean, we can have a run through of these, or I could play a game, or do whatever you want. Um, I did finish the Node.js stuff. I worked it out in the end. Um, I don't think I've done any Python, have I? Oh, yes, I have. That's interesting. Can't remember doing it. But I left myself notes. Um, what are we doing in Java? Nothing, because we're doing Saturdays, aren't we? But I've still got my notes. Uh, nobody's asked me to do any of these, which is interesting. But Node.js I'll finish off. Somebody did ask me to do Node.js, so I'm just going to finish that off, because it's embeddable into anything, any language. Um, but I'll sort through that tomorrow with you, and everything should be... Uh, good on that one. Otherwise, Friday it's very important I get this running and it's very important that we get the ECS CPP building as well. And then next week we can finish it off and start polishing up slightly. Because this is a goddamn mess to read. Yeah. I need all this doing properly, laying out properly and reading properly because I don't know if you've noticed, this is becoming virtually unreadable. So I might, tr uh, what would happen? No, it's not the new branch. Uh, color theme. Does it really help? It stops the underlining. And I am more used to that. Uh, let's have a look at colour themes. Right, that's the dark default. Which doesn't look that dark to me, but it is. It looks dark on your screen, but not mine. Maybe I need a gamma correction on my, uh, my TV. They go green. Alright. Numbers are the wrong colour. Let's have a look through these colours. Um, no. Why 
It's the bits that I was using. But size T. I can't tell whether it's working or not properly. See, it is there, it's in blue. And it's not underlined, so I know that that's working. And I can see the thingies as well. Alrighty. Yeah, this will help me. Um, darken it. But that now goes green the same as them instead of blue. Yuck. Oof. Red. Why would you use red? I don't believe this. The colour themes on this are lousy. Yep, there's red. Would you ever? Still coming up as the same type instead of the type def colour. So the only one that was actually y working was the normal one. That one. That's the only one that's working, but you can't tell what's what. Hmm. Up here, you're right. Crimes, my cat's falling over the place. Hmm. Now, I'll try this one. It's a bit better on screen, I think, for you people as well. Than the one with all the underlining and stuff, the high contrast one that was using to try and see things properly, really doesn't help me at all. It makes these asterisks too dark and I can't see them, and the angle arrows I can't see either, like these, I was struggling to see them. But component types is now in red. Interesting. Entity is now in red. So that's working properly. <laughs> it's this line I've got to get working. Hmm. Oops. <laughs> That's the error. I'm going to think about that by myself, quietly in my little corner, and take a break. <laughs> so, in the meantime, uh, tomorrow I've got a bit of looking through different languages to do, um, and I've received a new game this week, and it's XCOM. So we might see some enemy within tomorrow as well. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, I might need a break from programming after going through all of this. <laughs> today and tonight and setting up Fridays 
because remember I've got to I've got to write my script for Friday yeah? so that's going to be fun um, so yeah in the meantime what I'd like you to do is take care and have fun <laughs> <laughs>